Hey guys, Lego Kano 62 and today I'm making a video showing you guys the new Lego and Jago Sons of Garden Realm Season 8 set images plus the new brick heads for Kylo Ren and Rey that will be coming in a uh, dual pack. We never got this before, but these will also be part of Wave 2. So anyways, let's get right into it. First of all, we have the spinners and we saw similar things like, like these in um, the Ninjago movie line for Wave 2. We saw one for Lloyd, but now we're getting one for each of the ninjas in the Lego like, Ninjago actual show. And these ones look really cool. I like how they have that nice spinner in their color. And they're all pretty s similar, except for the bottom part is gold with their type of printing on it, and then the sides are each um, their own color. And what I like about them is that we finally get that um, piece of 1x2 with a kind of parsing out of it in gold, which is really cool, and they each have their own with really cool looking shrines, like if you see Kai's, he has two dragon swords with some fire, and kind of looks like a temple mini build, um, Nia's is like, kind of a water sanctuary, and it has like a spear, which looks really cool, and Jay's has like lightning coming out of it, and then a nice, a nunchuck kind of thing in it, with a stand, which looks really cool, Cole's is like, a mountain sort of thing, with his hammer attached to it, and then Zane has sort of an arrow blade and then like a snowflake kind of thing on an icy surface, which looks really cool. But anyways, let's get into the rest of the video. And here's the next one. Um, sorry, I don't have any names for these, but it's, this one still looks really cool. Has a nice beetle kind of looking um, for Kai, which is awesome. And it comes with this bad guy on his motorcycle. Um, and this definitely reminds me of the old Agents theme. Um, I think it just looks really cool also. But yeah, it's a nice touch. Um, I think it looks really cool how they added that little bag a motorcycle. I think that um, makes the set look a bit cooler because you have a vehicle for the good guys and the bad guys. But looking at Kai's speedboat itself, it actually looks really cool. I like how the exhaust flames use that cannon sort of piece they used on the Inferno from other dimensions. But in light gray, which they actually used it mostly in light gray and sets. And the actual uh, boat itself looks really cool. It has an awesome red and gold color design. It looks really cool. And it has some nice uh, yellow on the outside, which is a nice change from the Legend and Jack movie stuff. So they didn't take everything from it. And I really like that because it's more original to the Legend and Jack of Sons of Grimanon. And overall, this just looks like a really cool set. Um, Definitely different from most of the other Kai's vehicles we've ever gotten because the color scheme isn't um, much black. There's like a couple black pieces, but they're even just hard to spot. So I like how most of the black pieces are just on the uh, bad guy's motorcycle. So overall, a really cool set. And next up we have this one that comes with Lloyd, Nia, and this other bad guy. So this one looks like a really cool set. I like um, the bad guy's vehicle, it kind of comes with a small motorcycle, this one's a cool one, kind of like a blue and black design, which is um, typically the Garmin on uh, color scheme, um, it's usually um, black and purple, or black and blue, which is pretty nice. Um, I like the weapon that the bad guy wields, um, it looks really cool, it reminds me of Macy's axe from Next to Nice, except that is on a chain, which is a really nice touch to it. Um, I really like the Lloyd and Nia characters, although, again, they look so much like the Lego Ninjago movie ones. I kind of wish they switched it up, but what I do like is that it's basically the Ninjago, but inverted colors. So, I think that's really cool. Nia's weapon is an awesome change. Um, I like how it has the side blade at the top, and then a large stick going down with a little tangle at the end. That looks really cool, and the card definitely reminds me of that one from Season 4, um... That came with Lloyd and one of the Anaconda Warriors. It looks a lot similar in terms of the color design. and But what I like about this one is that it has those wings sticking out of the back. Um, it has a similar wheel color and design color. But this one also has dual stud shooters. One on each side. Which is awesome. And then a nice cockpit color piece. And I'm pretty sure we saw this one in the trailer. So it's a really nice set. And um... A pretty cheap way to get these characters, especially um, the character on the motorcycle, because that looks like an awesome new headpiece or hairpiece slash hat piece that I know a lot of people would really want. So this next set is a really cool one because because it comes with two bikes, which I really like, and obviously no Ninjago 
theme is complete without a double kind of uh, vehicle set. And usually it will come with Zane. Like I know the Titan Mech Battle came with Zane and his Ice Mech, and then uh, one of the Ghosts in a Ghost Samurai Mech. And this one comes with Zane on his motorcycle, which by the way has an awesome color scheme. I like how they changed it up with black on the helmet instead of completely white. That looks really cool. And it also comes with the Sunslip Garmadon bike. And this one's a really cool one. I like at the front how it has those giant blades. But those are new pieces because they have little teeth sticking out of them that are actually attachable and detachable. So you can spray them up the colors. Or even when making mocks, you could uh, kind of have like maybe teeth on them. Or you would have giant spikes, thorns, whatever you want to add to it would be awesome. Just definitely a really cool set. Especially I love the thing that you see in the middle with that character there. I really, really like that because you could see there's clearly a skeleton body there. But it has the normal minifigure arm. And that looks like it may be a new piece. So that's so awesome. And again, the headpiece is just a really key way to get that. And I know a lot of people would really want that new piece. And this next one is a really cool one. I really like how it turned out to look. Because I think it's just an awesome set. Um, one thing I noticed on the set that was really cool is it comes with that big fig plus the Samurai X, the new Samurai X, and J. So this is a really cool one. I like how they're um, re-including the Samurai X figure in this one. So they're taking the Samurai X that was in the last season, bringing it to this season, um, which is really cool. And hopefully Samurai X will become a very important character in the Ninjago franchise. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, something else that's really cool is that the Samurai mech itself, it just looks so awesome. Unfortunately, no vehicle is left for Jay, but the Samurai mech just looks so cool. And the big fig, he's really awesome. He's kind of like the Mala that we got from Chima because he had, um, a regular body, but then a minifigure head could fit on it, so you could put a mask over it, which was the elephant mask in that case. But in this case, you're just getting that other mask we got from the rest of the Sons of Glamour and minifigures, except this time it's really cool because it's recolored in gold, which I really like, so we get a recolor of this. And I think that's really cool, and his bike is awesome. I'm really glad that we finally get a bike that fits a big fig. Um, I've been hoping for this for a long time. And I never really made um, one of these before because, well, I guess I was just busy with making other stuff. But, yeah, so this is a really cool set. Definitely looking forward to this one. And I'm always about the sets that come with the big figs. And this next one is a really cool one. It's like a Spinjitsu or Air Jitsu Battle Arena. It's so awesome. I love the design of this, especially if you can see on that red poster back there. There's a Sons of Garmin on poster that looks really cool. The minifigure variety is also a really good one. It comes with that Son of Sons of Garmin on um, bad character, which looks really cool, as you can see. And then the two ninja. Um, one of them is Lloyd, and here's his spinner. So you can see his spinner. Right at the start of the video when I showed you that, because they all come in this set. So it was really cool how we're getting that, and they didn't just forget about it. And this also comes with Zane Unmasked, and I'm pretty sure that's him. Um, but this one looks really awesome, and I like the detail they added to him. Um, the, the, the Dojo kind of arena itself looks really cool. Um, if you could see, there's some speakers, and then there's a circular red saw, and then a wheel that could be controlled. If you could see, there's a little knob at the back that you turn, and if you could see, um, there are some gears that'll turn the, uh, either the saw blade or the wheel. And the wheel actually has a character on top of it, and that's a really cool obstacle. Um, and if you have all these spinners, you could, like, take a battle, or even if you just have the air jitsus, um, those would be good for these two. And I'm looking forward to some, like, spinjitsu mechanics that they might use one day to um, make this Ninjago sets a bit more awesome. Because we've only got air jitsu. We have got spinjitsu, but, like, those were, um, you had to spin on it uh, yourself. Um, for the air jitsu, you just had to pull a cord. I'm going to do something like that, kind of like the team of speeders. Those were really cool. Um, but anyways, uh, it also has a jail cell, which is awesome to capture the sense of Garminon's enemies. And it has a nice entrance with that bike coming out of it. It reminds me um, from, of the bike that came in the Kai's Boat Speeder set. And it just has an awesome color scheme. 
Um, I like how it's kind of a rocky texture, but then they are added in some black and red elements to make it, like, pop out. And it even has that new helmet piece recolored in purple on the top to kind of give it the finishing touches and make it look like a really cool set. The next set we'll be looking at is from the Brickheads line. So we're moving away from Ninjago, and this one is the Ray and Kylo Ren. Comes with 249 pieces, and yeah, it's a really cool set. Um, I like how they're starting to get towards um, how they had the dual packs uh, for Comic Con exclusives before, but now they're giving us the dual packs for uh, these these brickheads, which are awesome, and these were the first brickheads revealed. Um, these ones are going to be coming out, I'm pretty sure it's January, along with the Justice League brickheads, and those have been leaked and technically revealed, but uh, unfortunately I can't show them in this video. They have been revealed a long time ago, but those were just like images, and I'm pretty sure it would be copyrighted if I showed them here. But anyways, um, we got... So we have all those coming out in January, along with the Avengers Infinity War, and the other two Star Wars brickheads coming out in April. So anyways, these are some really cool brickheads. I love the printing on them, and the, just the designs. Um, so starting at Rey, she has a nice hair design. It's nice and slick, um, with a nice body design. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the day, and I know they won't do this, but the day where they actually start to brick build these printings, um, I know they won't do it because that's kind of the theme of the brickheads where they print everything on things, but, um, I, I think it would just be really cool to see what kind of things they would come up with that maybe fans haven't. Um, but anyways, these brickheads look really cool. The Ray one is definitely my favorite, but the Caliban one still looks really, really cool. I like how it has kind of like a lock kind of symbol on his chest with that nice jacket design, and his hair just looks awesome. Definitely represents his hair. And how he also has those scars, one of them printed on a 2x3, and one of them printed on a 1x4. And overall, these are like really cool brick heads. Definitely a really good way to get, um, Kylo Ren's new lightsaber piece, because I know that didn't come any cheap sets before. But anyways, this is a really cool set, so let's start moving on.